Hi everybody, I'm just going to go through what makes the brand new Google Classroom iPhone app just extraordinary for students. So first of all, you can see I've loaded Classroom down in the lower right, and I'm just going to open it up. I am both a teacher and a student, and you'll see that right away because any of my courses that say how many students are in there, I'm the teacher of that student. And any one of these that says that there is a teacher there, that means I'm a student. So I'm going to go into this Hayfield Tech and see what I can see. The stream is here, and the stream is everything in sequence that goes on in the class. The very last thing in the stream was an assignment called PALS. If a teacher is turning on or off the ability for students to comment in the stream, so that's something you can do in your dashboard, teachers, and if you don't want students commenting in the stream, you can simply turn that off. But as a student, I really can see my assignments clearly, and they're in order. Let's open up this assignment. I see on one tab the instructions. That's everything that the teacher has provided for me in order to complete this assignment. It could be an attachment right in the Google Drive, or it could be a PDF. And now I'm going to click on your work. Oops, sorry, I'm late, but that's all right. I can still add or create pretty much anything. Let's take a look at what I can include in my assignment. Anything in Drive, any link to a, any website you want. You can grab a photo, you can take a photo. Why don't I do that right now? And it's going to become an attachment to the assignment. Just to take a look at some more attachments later, you can come on down and see that in Drive, I can actually go into pretty much any folder in Drive, and I would be able to add MP3s, I can add movies, I can add images. Let's go ahead and add a JPEG image in there as well. All right. And just to take a, a quick look, you can also add a comment as a student. Maybe explain why you're late. And then you go ahead and click Turn In, and it tells you two assignments are going to be turned in. So maybe those weren't the ones you wanted to turn in. Maybe that was a strange picture. You can unsubmit them and choose to put in something different. I want to show you as well that when you're in Google Drive, maybe directly from an assignment, you're able as a student to edit your document right there before you turn it in. So you can double check that your assignment is finished. Once I get done editing, I'm all ready to go. I can go back into Classroom, see how it's there. I can submit it at this point. So I've edited it right before submitting, right there in Google Classroom.